That's right. It's another segment of The Curb here on The Local <laughs> View. I'm Kat Leonard, and this is my lovely co-host, Megan Bradley. Hello, Kat. We're so festive today. I know. And look at all the Christmas goodies out. I and know. Chocolates for all. Santa's coming. Until they lie. <laughs> <laughs> so we here at The Curb uh, are a healthy deviation from the state, straight and narrow. We talk about a whole bunch of things, and we try to make it <laughs> curvy, if you know what I'm saying. We do. do you know what I'm saying? We totally know what we're saying. And could we have a better guest today? Mm, it would be tough. <sighs> now, we've all heard Simone Denny say. Yes. And, and you probably have as well, even yes. if you're not aware of the artist. Sometimes you're like, I totally know that artist. Yeah. So, Simone, what would you say when people come to you and they say, oh, I love this song, I know this song. What, what's your song that you find that they recognize you from? Uh, probably Superstar, Broken Bones, yeah. the, and then right back to BKS which would be I'm in love with you, Dreamcatcher. Yes. I have been lucky to be the voice of, a, I guess, a generation Absolutely. of house music. I kind of put my imprint stamp all over that. So there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot of house and a lot of dance music. And we've yeah. been enjoying your music for how long? Forever. Let's just not go into <laughs> it. <laughs> it's been a long time. We won't touch it. We won't touch it. Well, I know all the songs you mentioned. Simone Denny, yeah. everybody. Hello. Remember that name. <laughs> You'll always remember now. Yeah. So, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about your kind of trajectory in music mm -hmm. and your image and okay. how that ties in, how it's affected you, how you've kind of affected it as well. Wow, I think um, just being a curvy plus size girl, I mean, my weight has fluctuated. So I've been a size 18, I've been a 14, I've been a 12, I've been a 16. Uh, just being me and doing what I do, I think affects visually, helps women go, she's doing it, I can do it. Yeah. You know, it's why very not? empowering. And Absolutely. you've had stories like that where where people have actually said to you, "You've inspired me." Or yes, you know, I get a, I get that a lot. I'm I'm very blessed by it. Mm -hmm. um, I literally just get up in the morning and try to do me. You know, okay. <laughs> that, that's it. It's just how Perfect. can I? Because I'm a, I'm a a believer that how you dress really lets people know how you feel, feel about yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you're not, you know, putting yourself together in a way that's that's sending off a signal or a negative energy that I don't feel quite happy about who I am. Yes. And so for me, I like to put it together because I love fashion. Mm -hmm. I love makeup. I love hair. I love all of that. And well, like, you've got this that is in your how I feel about me, right? Absolutely. Like, yeah. So imagery and design yeah. is so. How does that empower you? Wow. Uh, you mean just uh, the just makeup aspect I or guess the fashion the aspect? The, or? the power uh, of possibility of being able to project something through something you're putting together visually on the outside well, to I'm show a, who you are I'm on the I'm a creative inside. person. Yeah. So, like I said, makeup, fashion, visual art, all those things um, had an effect on me growing up. And just getting up and, and I think being able to put change my look, because mm -hmm. my look will go from vintage to something that's very street and edgy with my Converse and a leather jacket. It, it's all... But always how, those how, signature how, red lips. And always the red lips. Always the red lips. lips. And the hoops. Because if I don't see those, then Absolutely. it's not Simone like, Denny. <laughs> <It's not laughs> I did at one point. I used to wear other earrings. Then <laughs> other lipstick. Yes. But I love a red lip. Yes. I think it's sexy. Um, mm -hmm. I, c red is my favorite color. So when I'm out somewhere, even if I'm wearing black, I've got red somewhere on me if it's my lips. A bra, something, something it somewhere. To, to too, I, I love. It's my favorite color. So yeah. it's it's a color I like to have on me and around me at all times. So isn't it wonderful that as a musical artist you've created your look? Because sometimes mm -hmm. you know, as you you said in the musical industry, there can be a lot of pressure sometimes to. Well, we want you to be this brand, or we yes. want you to be this brand. Yes. And Simone Denny gets to be Simone Denny. Yeah. Um, I was lucky enough that um, starting out. I mean, there was a time where I was told I was not sexy and I didn't have the look. And that's okay. And this is by industry people? This is by industry people. And um, they wanted to have me change. But I knew, because I, like I said, I love clothes and I love fashion, that I could create my own. And luckily, at that time in music, I had that freedom to put my stamp on my sound and my look. And so every time I'd pull in a, a, to a, a, a Edmonton or wherever we were on tour, I would run around to vintage stores or the mall and find different things to put yeah. together to create that loving look that everybody saw. So you're authentically you. It was all You're me. just not a brand of nope. something that yeah. is nope. constructed, and that's nope. rare that in the music me. industry. Yeah. That's fantastic. How, how were you able to accomplish that? I was on the road. You so just did we were it. on the road. I just did it. I was like, okay, I've worn this shirt like two or three, four times. Let's switch yeah. it up now. So I yeah. would find something else. And sometimes it would be men's stores. Sometimes it would be additional. Sometimes it would be wherever, like vintage whatever I could find, 
wherever I could find it. I'm like, oh, I could pair that with these pants. And that's the look that's going now. I'll put that together yeah. and it works. And it was always and you. It. it was your it style. It was always me. Perfect. And the only time you'd have like a stylist would be our videos. And that was after they kind of saw what I did and they'd bring pieces in. And I was lucky enough that I was able to give my input and go, I like right. that or I like this. And then I started finding Canadian designers like Ula Zagowska, who had these very cool futuristic European pieces. And I could add them into what I was doing. I was like, somebody gets it. Fantastic. Yeah. You're touring all over the world. You said you just got back from Ireland. Ireland. That's yes, so cool. Ireland. That was amazing. I've been to Ireland before, but mm -hmm. um, this time uh, I was called out to do a tour, and we did about nine or ten dates. So I was between Belfast and Bangor and Litterkenny oh and goodness. you name it, I was there, and it, it was beautiful. And the reception like, has just been wonderful it was, all over. Anybody could check my um, Instagram, Simone Denny Music, and if you scroll down, you'll see some of the clips of the shows. It was insane. Wow. And, and, yeah. and plans for next year? Are we going to um, see you all on well, the road Well, now with the new album, Stereo Dynamite yeah. Sessions, Volume 1. Just Volume um, 1. So there's volume more. Oh, no. Yeah, yes, and she's got yes, lots, yes. To yes. To lots to do. We've got lots to do. <laughs> um, that's more yeah. of a, a vintage, um, like, say, 40s, 50s rock and soul uh, vibe, um, nice. which I'm loving doing because a lot of people don't realize before dance music, I was a musician. I did live music. That's what I came out of. So I grew up on soul music funk, R&B, all that stuff. Um, and that tour is in the works. We just signed with an agency, a uh, booking agency in the U.S. And so we're li lining up uh, Canadian dates and U.S. dates. Oh, and fantastic. It's good. It's all good. Right. Well, you always sing Superstar. You know it's my favorite. I will always sing always Superstar. Yes. Superstar. Superstar will never leave. Too. It's always, no, it's it's always part of It's such me. an inspirational song. And, 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 and she I sung it at Curvy Expo. You uh, heard it there. Yeah. And I love it. And, and also at the... Body Confidence yeah, Canada Awards. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Can't ever get enough. It's like an anthem. <laughs> it it is totally anthem. is. It is We're going to hear a new song okay. um, called Tease Me. We're going to go oh. out. This okay. is from this volume one that we're talking about. I want to invite everyone to go to SimoneDenny.com for more information. And definitely check out Simone Denny Music for all those images and clips that she talked about. On Twitter, Instagram, yeah, Facebook. Yeah, find, find her. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to The Curve on the Local View and the local view as a whole we are out for this episode yes. we really like having you thank you to rogers tv community peel and all the volunteers and staff here and everybody hope you have a really really great holiday season i'm kat leonard on the local view see you soon